In Creo Parametric, you can perform interference checks in your assemblies. Let's take a look at how to do that. To execute the command, go to the Analysis tab, and here in the Inspect Geometry group, we have the Global Interference command. When you click on it, you'll get this dialog box with a number of different options. And first, I'm going to show you the difference between Parts Only and Subassembly Only. So let's select the radio button for subassembly only. And before I do that, I want to point out to you that we do have one subassembly in this model, and it has two components, a PCB part and a three pin receptacle. So with subassembly only selected, I'm going to do a quick check. And we'll show you the difference between a quick check and exact check. I'm going to choose preview to get the results. And we see that in this particular situation, we have a number of different interferences in here. So it's showing all the different components that have these interferences. If you click the Show All button, it'll actually highlight all of them in here. Let's click Clear. Uh, but you'll notice that we're not getting the interference volume with the Quick Check. Next up, let's take a look at if we change this to the Exact Check and then preview. You'll notice that now we're getting the interfering volumes and here now we only have eight results being shown to us because the quick check was again just using a, a very simple algorithm and saying oh all these different places over here you have interference but with the exact check we're getting more accurate results and the interfering volume. You can see when we zoom in over here it's going to show part one in blue part two in a light red and the interfering volume is going to be highlighted and again we can do show all and it's going to highlight all those different components in the list over here let's click the clear button uh, if you did the quick check and hit the preview button here you see we have all these different results now if you select one of the lines in here and then click on verify then it'll give you the exact volume of interference for that particular object. And so you might do the quick check in a very large assembly to begin with and then go one by one through the different lines to figure out which ones you actually want to get the interfering volume on. But again, let me go back to preview. Oh, and I want to do the exact check. Let's hit preview again. And so right now we have eight different results listed in here when we're doing subassembly only. I'm going to change the radio button to parts only now and hit the preview button. And you'll notice now we have nine results because it is now looking at interference for all the different parts and it's not discounting the subassemblies like we had with subassembly only where it was analyzing the PCB assembly as a complete unit. But now you can see with line five over here, it is detecting interference between components in the subassemblies because we're using the parts only option. You'll notice there are a couple other options in here, include quilts. Those are for non-solid surfaces if you want to include them in the interference and also include facets, like if you had some STL geometry that you wanted to analyze as well. So we have our different interferences in here. What we can also do is instead of doing this as a quick check, we can save the analysis. And I did another video on saved analyses. I'll just go ahead and click saved over there and click the OK button. And now with this as a saved analysis, you can click on saved analysis. And here we have our uh, global interference. And again, it's you know we, when you have this, you can click on the edit button and it'll show, bring open the dialog box so you can see all the different results. So it's a way of getting to it a little quicker. Let's click cancel out of here. And then I'm going to select this and just hit the minus sign to get rid of it. Let's go back to the global interference. From the drop down list, instead of doing a saved analysis, you can create this as a feature in the model. And when we go to the Feature tab now, oops, let me go to Always and then click the Preview button. Uh, now when we go to the Feature tab, there is a parameter that you can create inside of the feature and you can rename it for uh, to something other than Interference Status. But that way you're just going to be able to get to this as a feature in the model. 
Uh, let's click on edit definition to get back to the dialog box. So again, we see that we have uh, a lot of interference here. We have nine different instances of interference. And we can see one of the reasons is probably because we're using the wrong standoff. Uh, with the standoff, it's not the right diameter for the different screws that we have in the model. So one way of taking care of interference is by replacing components with the correctly sized ones. So for example, here is the standoff. I can right click on it and use the replace command. And I'm going to replace by unrelated component. And I'm going to swap out with a larger standoff that I have. Let's click on edit ref table. And I'll use the evaluate option to take advantage of the fact that we have same history that's using say that oh you these features are similar so let's click the OK button and then click OK and so now we've swapped out the different components let's select our global interference feature and edit definition and now we only have one instance of interference in the PCB assembly let's click the OK button out of here and I'm going to open up the PCB assembly to show you one way that you can take care of global interference, but I'm not crazy about this method. Uh, it is kind of expedient though. So if we take a look at our global interference again, and let's do exact parts only, hit the preview button. So we can see that looks like they did not create the holes in the PCB part for the pins in the receptacle. So let's click the OK button out of here. And if I take this component and hide it real quickly you can see that yeah there are no holes in there so you can do a cutout of this component from the other component in order to get the little holes that we need for the pins in order to do that we'll go to the model tab and then from the component overflow menu we can choose component operations then boolean operations and this is the dialog box that was added in Creo Parametric 4.0 for performing this. And I don't want to do a merge. I want to do a cut. And the modified models, I want to remove material from the PCB. For the modifying components, I will select the receptacle. And I'll leave all the other different options in here. We can leave automatic update turned on and associative placement. Then click the OK button and hit done return to get out of the menu manager. Now if I expand the PCB part, here we have a cutout feature that was created to subtract the material that was interfering. And again, I'm not crazy about this, especially because we have the PCB part being cut out by a part that appears after it in the model tree. But now when we go to analysis and then global interference, and hit the preview button you can see that we're not detecting interference anymore so again uh, you can use boolean operations what i would most likely do is figure out where those holes go and create them as a local feature in the pcb part but again you have the ability to use global interference in order to find interfering volumes between components in your assembly I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.